I am so excited to have you all here tonight. There's so many good things that are going to happen, the least of which is our standing speaker, who has flown in from California last night to be here for us. But first, I have a commercial that I want to present. And my name is Lynn Johnson Langer, and I am one of the program directors in the Center for Biotechnology Education. Uh, my colleagues, Dr. Patrick Cummings, could you just give away? And Dr. Christina Obam and I uh, organize and run and develop and are on faculty in the Center for Biotechnology Education. Right here? The center has worked with women in bio. Are, do we have any women in bio members here tonight? That's good. And I am a, a, a also a member and a president emeritus of women in bio. Together, we have come to put this great evening on for you. So we're delighted that you're here. Uh, but women in bio is an outstanding networking <coughs> organization for men and women. Uh, we, we love men who support women in bio, so, so uh, I hope that you stop by the table and make sure you get some information about it. Uh, as far as the Center for Biotech Education goes, we have some great news in that in the center we have worked very hard to pull together programs that cover the gamut of biotechnology. When the program began in, almost 20 years ago, I believe next year's our 20th anniversary, uh, the founders of the program saw that biotech was certainly critically grounded in the science, but biotechnology is also more than the science. So we now <coughs> offer uh, programs and education all the way from basic research, and tonight we're happy to announce our newest degree, the Master's in Biotechnology Enterprise and Entrepreneurship. So this new degree has been in development for quite some time. We're really excited about it. It's going to be a 10-course program where students take six required courses. Uh, they have a final practicum, and then they can take three electives. And as far as those electives go, you can take any elective for which you've met the prerequisite. Uh, to be admitted to the program, you need to have a background in the life sciences or engineering, and at least one course in cell biology and biochemistry. We're looking for a 3.0 grade point average and an undergrad, uh, uh, a 3.0 GPA. And you can take courses here at this campus, at the Homewood campus in Baltimore, as well as the degree will be offered fully online. Right now, we just got this news at late yesterday, so that the program had made it through the final steps and is fully endorsed now by the Maryland Higher Education Commission. So once it's made it through that process, now we are uh, we can begin accepting applications. So if you have any questions at all, you can email AAP Admissions. That's for Advanced Academic Program. So AAP Admissions at jhu.edu. It'll take us about a week to get it up on the website for applying online. But if you contact AAP Admissions, they can work with you to do a paper application. They can also direct you to, to find more information. It is on our website at biotechnology.jhu.edu. So, without further ado, <laughs> I want to introduce to you our guest speaker tonight. I feel like we're old friends. <laughs> we are. That's right. Toby and I have been talking about putting together uh, an event such as this for over a year now. And we had hoped to do it in the spring, and that didn't work. So here we are. We finally got you here. So I'm going to read her bio to you because it's so impressive. I can't remember all of the good details about it. But Toby Friedman is an author and founder president of Synapsis Search, a scientist by training. She transitioned into business as a recruiter, writer, and entrepreneur. In fact, I believe, what is it, chapter 11 is on entrepreneurship. I think so, anyway. Uh, her book, Career Opportunities in Biotechnology and Drug Development, was published by Cold Spring Harbor Lab and provides a comprehensive overview of the many careers in the life sciences industry. 
Her book covers over 20 vocational areas, ranging from venture capital to marketing to discovery research. That sounds like our biotech program. So I bet we have some of you from all of those areas here tonight. Uh, she founded her own recruiting firm, Synapsis Search, which is focused on life science R&D and business placements. She previously worked at BioQuest, an executive search firm, placing VP to CEO level executives and as a director of business development at SLIL Biomedical, a drug discovery company developing therapeutics for cancer and other diseases. She earned her PhD in molecular biology from University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. She got her BS from the University of California and as an NIH fellow, she conducted postdoctoral research at Harvard University and the University of Texas, Austin. Toby is the program chair for the Bioscience Forum, a nonprofit educational forum serving the Bay Area biotechnology community, and she also teaches classes in career development at UC Berkeley Extension. I've been planting seeds, and perhaps you will too, that maybe we can get her to teach one of our online courses for us. She's a committee member of ASIA, a nonprofit program for life science entrepreneurs. And just this year, she won the Distinguished Professorial Award at AWIS, the American Association of Women in the Sciences. So without further ado, I proudly introduce Toby Friedman.